Check. Check. Is it time to color our hair? Is it time to color our hair? I think it might be time to color our hair. This is one of my favorite videos ever to make and my roots are driving me crazy. So we're back with the Animal Hooper hair coloring video, which is one of my favorite videos to make, as I said, and one of your favorites. To see a couple, well that was probably six, eight weeks ago, I got my hair colored by an incredible hairstylist named Chad Kenyon here in LA. I was invited to get my hair colored with him. So that was super, super fun. And a lot of you guys were like, what, what did he do? What did he do to the formula? Actually, he shared over on his Instagram what he did, what colors he used. Um, but today I'm gonna be touching it up my Myself because I ended up going to Croatia, swimming in the sea, swimming in the ocean. It's faded a lot as red hair always does. And I've got a few work events. You can see I've got my little roots coming in. So I am going to color my hair myself and I can give you my detailed formula of what I do today to achieve the color after. I'll put some pictures on the screen of my inspo. I'm just looking at it on my phone, the types of shades that I like to do around this time of year. I am going to do this tutorial for you to get as close as we can to a hair color like this, deep, rich, like co cowboy copper, some are calling it like an auburn. It doesn't have too much red or too much orange and also definitely has some brown in there and it's just super pretty. So we're gonna jump straight into it. Of course, I'm using Schwartz Cup Collar. So yep, let's go. Put some swatches on the screen right now, the different shades that I'm using from Schwartz Cup. Again, it's a permanent color, Igora Royal. I'm a hairstylist, so I'm able to just buy this from my salon store, um, but I love to make these videos either for hairstylists or if you're in another country where you can actually buy this color over the counter, which sometimes you can if you're in the UK. I would love to tell you what I, what I use because I'm, we're not gatekeeping here and you do what you want to do with your hair, so I'm gonna at least give you a good formula. Right now, I'm looking at 677, seven, which looks like this, and then I'm looking at 557, five, which looks like this, and 57. Really, for this color, the darkest I should go is about a six, but I might add a little bit of five just to give it a little bit more darkness because my hair does fade so quickly. But the base this color is gonna be 677, seven. so I'm actually just gonna take my 677 seven and put it in the bowl. Got my bowl here and I'm just gonna begin squeezing it in. I kind of just eye this, I don't fully measure again because I'm a hairstylist, so I'm kind of just used to the knowing what will produce what, but I will show you how much of this I put into the bowl. Cute. All right, so we got our 677 in there, so it's taking up the majority of the bowl, the bottom of the bowl. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of my 557, which is just like the 757 that I used for a very long time, but this is just gonna be a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna take some of this into the bowl. Okay, right there is our 557. And then I'm actually gonna take a 757 and put the exact same amount right next to it. When you mix a five and a seven, it creates a level six. So I'm more wanting to stay in the six shade range. So I'm gonna go grab my 757 and add the same amount right next to it. All right, 757. All right, and there we have our 757 equal parts of those two, and then 677 is the main one. I'm now just gonna take 10 volume because I do not need to lift my shade at all. I really just need to deposit it, and this 657 combination is darker than my natural hair color, so I can just use 10 volume, which is deposit only, and you do one-to-one -one ratio, so we are going to basically mix the same amount of developer to the amount of color we have if you are measuring you just wanna make sure you put the equal amount of like the weight. So if you're doing grams, um, just putting the exact same amount in developer as there is in weight of just the color by itself. But like I said, I just kinda of eye it normally, so. And I can kinda of tell if the consistency's off when I mix it. So I'm just gonna begin mixing this all together now. Okay, we are all mixed. It's looking something like that. And now we are going to put on our cape and our gloves. giving surgery vibes. I will take this, pin this up. All right, I always like to start in the back and just begin taking this right on my roots. Always have someone else help you if you're doing this to yourself, but I'm pretty used to it. So I'm just gonna keep working my way down, starting with just my roots. Okay, 
Okay, the back roots are done. So I am going to work on the roots for the front, which is just so much easier and so much faster because I can see what I'm doing. I already did the back, but now I'm just going to pull through that exact same shade that I put on my roots and run it through my ends. So I just kind of go where I left off with my roots and then I paint it down and just try and really, really saturate the hair and comb it through so we get an even color. And yeah, I'm just gonna do that on both sides. Now that it looks like the achiest egg of all time, I'm going to let that sit for about 35 minutes, 40 minutes, but I'm actually gonna put a little bit of color on my brows that is left over in my bowl. Again, there are brow dyes out there, beard dyes you can use to be careful when using hair color because it's obviously not good to get in your eyes and I always you know, recommend people do what they're comfortable with, but my clients and I would always do this to them and I always have done it to myself and I love the way it colors my brows. So I just paint it on and then you can take a Q-tip and clean it up. Fire alarm and it keeps going off, so we're in the process of getting that fixed. Anyways, I was saying, but just paint this on the brows, and then before you shower, just make sure you take it off before you get into the shower. That way, this doesn't get into your eyes or run into your eyes or anything. You can just use an old towel or a q tip and take it off. So, I will see ya when my hair is washed and dry, and we'll see what the results are. All right, here's the final result of my dark Aubrey hair color. I'm literally obsessed. It turned out so good. It actually might be one of my favorite hair colors I've like ever done on myself. And it just looks so good. It's so rich. It's not too red. It's not too orange, but it has that depth in it. The brown undertones that I was looking for. I'm so, so happy with the results. Recommend this color 100%. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how I did this. Please like and subscribe. Stay up to date with all future hair videos. And I'm gonna get ready to go to a work event and I'm feeling obsessed that I got this fresh new hair. So let's see my husband's reaction. Let's get his real time. Well, I wanna show you my new hair. What do you think? Wow, it looks great. That's really nice. I think you styled it really well. Oh, I barely styled it. Showing you the color. Oh. Did you know it was different? Yeah, no, I did. The color What do you mean, oh? oh? I knew there was something I could. Men. <laughs> Men. <laughs> Trying to have the key moment, but you know. All right, you guys. I love you. I'll see you in my next video. I gotta run. Chat to you soon.